everyone. It's Linda from Linda Z's in Arlington Heights. You know, I promised you that we would start a video every day. So this is the first in the series. I want you to put everything on hold. Tell your family when you're watching this, it's only going to be about 10 minutes. This is your happy place. You don't have to focus on any of the stress. We're so that's happy. Going. <laughs> Debbie's here too. <laughs> She's helping me. Uh, on any of the stress that's going on. We just want you to focus on something fun. You can see I've put some stabilizers on the table. I also have a jacket that I want you to look at, and it is um, just a plain old jeans jacket that anybody you could find probably in your closet somewhere. And I put a new design on it, and you're gonna see that sewing. I actually am, uh, have done this on my 10 needle, my 10 needle brother or baby lock, you could do it on a single needle also, but I'm gonna show you techniques on how to do it and how to make it fun. So try and find something in your um, closet that would really be fun just for you to, to embroider on. And if you don't have an embroidery machine, you can see what I'm doing now, I'm cutting some stabilizer. If you don't have an embroidery machine, you could actually learn something from this because Embroidery is really a fun thing and it just helps to embellish some of your garments and just have some fun with it. So what this is, it's a hoop that is... Um, for the 10 needle. It's a, Yes, it's for the 10 needle. Debbie's here with me if I didn't say that before. Mm -hmm. And the 10 needle is a multi-needle that is, um, when I don't want to thread and change the threads all the time, I can put it on all at one time, press the button and then it'll continue sewing. Every day we are going to have something different. So that if you're not an embroiderer, like tomorrow we're gonna to do, I hope to have something on quilting for you. We have so many projects ready, but I think tomorrow would be the quilting one and we're gonna show something with binding. But today I thought it was important to show stabilizer. So even if you don't embroider, this is something called perfect stick. And you can see it's kind of shiny on one side and kind of flat on the other. And this perfect stick goes into the hoop like this. You're gonna press it down. See how I got it in there pretty easily. And then I'm gonna take something from my sewing area and you'll have to pardon this uh, video studio because our studio- There's a right here. Yeah, Ooh, nice. Our studio is not ready yet. And you know that I have um, been really working hard to get it done, but with everything happening in the world today, it'll get there probably next month. But you can see now that this is all hooped up. So I want to score it because underneath the top layer is a sticky surface. Underneath the paper. Yep. So all I'm doing is taking a little seam ripper I'm like not this. Not pressing hard at all on there. Well, you can almost see, if you get up close, you can almost see that there's a little uh, V there. And now do you see what I'm going to do? Just going to pull it out and push it away so from the end. Under there. And that's all you have it's to like do. a post-it note under there. Right. You can Just place... take it. I'm going to just rip it away so and we'll do that yeah and then we're going to put the that's how we did this because if you look at this jacket you will see that it is very difficult to get at in the corners this is a um it's got a little pocket on it and you can see that this area and this has not been pressed yet because i want to show you some technique for pressing my irons going over there uh, I have removed all of the uh, stabilizer on here because I will show you that the topper, in the future, yeah. the topper. You'll see that in the future. And then I've also taken a um, the perfect stick away from the back. And I've shown you that on another video too. On this particular one, if you use this perfect stick, which I'm going to show you, if I went to do another design on this side, I could now position this jacket right onto the perfect stick you see how I'm doing that? Smooth it out. It really will hold it. And now it's stuck real nice and firm to the hoop. I can take the hoop up and move it over so to the machine. So you didn't have to hoop the jacket at all. It's no. just sticking to the Right, right. Just a real simple thing mm -hmm. a lot of people don't know. When you're using this perfect stick and you happen to have a very heavy design, you might want to take some tearaway and use it as a floater. And you would cut a piece of the tearaway and then just slip the tearaway underneath the hoop as it's sewing. You could also, and you really need to do this, all of this jacket was done, uh, there was always a water soluble topper put on the top of the uh, jacket, because that really keeps the, the uh, design sewing and showing real well. I happen to have, and I don't think it was on this one, but in one of the future videos I'll show you, I had forgotten to put the topper on and I'd already started sewing. 
Once I saw the difference with the topper on, I came back and stopped it, cut it, and then put the topper back on. And what was happening is that the one side with the topper on just popped right up and the one without the topper was kind of dull. So you'll see there'll be a really big difference when you start using your stabilizers. And we'll cover that a little bit more later. This happens to be a free spirit design by OESD, which we will have a um, kit ready for you at the end of the video. But I wanna show you quickly what I have done on a wonderful jeans jacket. It's a pretty heavy jacket. You can see that this would be a very difficult area to get at because it's the front of the jacket. So I've taken what we call perfect stick and put it into the hoop, scored the top of it, and then stuck this jacket right down on the perfect stick. Then on top of it, I took some water soluble topper and did a little lick and stick, so in the corners, so it's all down. And then I started to do the design. Now you can see, I'm gonna kind of hold the collar as it's sewing because it is in a very precarious place, but it's sewing beautifully. And I'll finish up showing you what the design looks like in a few moments. This is one of the things you do have to do, if you can see my hand. I'm holding this collar, and all I'm doing is kind of helping it so it doesn't get caught down in the hoop area. When you have a very difficult area to do a design in, and it's heavy and it's impossible to completely hoop, this perfect stick really works well. But you still do have to help it a little, by holding the design. And you see, I've also slowed my machine down. I'm sure many of you have that, where you can do that on your machine to 400, instead of going to, you see I'm gonna slow it down again. And that does help also to make sure that there's no interference with the design. You can see that the design is now finished. And of course, it had to have been held a little bit but the perfect stick really kept it in good shape. So I'll take it out of the hoop and then I'll show you the finished jacket. The table topper is quite easy. You just pull and you can see it's coming off. And then after you've finished taking the big pieces off, I will take a spritzer and water and just pat it with a towel and the rest of it will come off. You can see I am now pulling the jacket out of the hoop away from the perfect stick. You see how it pulls right off around the design? And the entire hoop will be like that. And then the, when the jacket is washed, the perfect stick will also be removed. You can see the back of the jacket with the perfect stick. And you can see that the water soluble topper is still on the design after I've removed it from the hoop. Now I'm going to take this spray bottle which is pretty cool. And it's got a wonderful spritzer. With my scan and cut, I put the water label on it. And I'm going to go ahead and spritz it. See the water going on completely all over the top. And then I'm gonna take a towel, put on top of it, pat it dry, take it off and most of it will come off. I'll do it one more time and then it will be completed. I'll be spritzing the back of the jacket also with my water bottle and that will remove the topper from the back of this one also, from the back of the jacket. You can almost see the water standing on the jacket. It is dissolving the water soluble and now I'm going to pat it down and it will take it away. Once the uh, jacket is all finished and embroidered, you, it's important to go over to your iron and get it pressed properly. And I, there's a couple of tips, tips that I wanna show you. And this is one, if you haven't got one of our felt pressing pads, they're absolutely fabulous and they work really well for, and, and the way that you use it is first of all, you take the embroidery design, you can see it's a little puckery yet because it hasn't been pressed. The, um, the water and everything is taken off of it and the stabilizer. The stabilizer in the back has not come off yet because this has not been washed. But once this goes into a machine, every bit of it will come off. 
So I take the design and put the design down onto the felt pad. And then I take, I'm at the Laura Star pressing iron system, which I love. And you can see, see how I'm pressing it? I'm going up and down, I'm not ironing. I'm pressing up and down and up and down. And this is where I do give it steam because see the little steam button that's going on there because this will really, really make it look nice and smooth. So now I'm gonna turn it over, see how much we have to do on the other side. Not too much, but we'll do a little bit because it'll just give it a little bit flatter look. See how we can press it nice. And voila, voila as they say in French. It all ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> now, the last thing that I wanna tell you, I'm gonna put the jacket on so you can kinda of see it. The, um, the, we do have a kit available for you because a lot of you had asked, well, what are we going to do now you're showing us this? Can I get a kit? And we put together something called the I Want It All. Now, this is the front, and you can see in the back. Mm -hmm. It's kind of really cute. And, and what I did is we put some of the stabilizer that was important with the kit. The design is called Free Spirit. It's by OESD. Um, some of you get our spree club, so you'll already have that. But this is called the I Want It All kit where the whole entire thing is included. If you just want individual pieces, we'll be more than happy to do that too. The most important thing is I hope you had some fun today. Mm -hmm. You forgot about everything else that's going on and you're waiting for our wonderful new tips for tomorrow. Thanks guys, see you soon. Bye.